Hello friends! In this video I will show how to cut a survival rope from a plastic bottle that sadly can be found just about anywhere on the planet. I will show how to make a bottle cutter jig using basic tools as well as explain where and how this polymer shrinkable rope can be used. Don't judge the footage quality too hard please. This is one of my first videos that gained over 15 million views and continues to stay popular on my Russian channel since it was published over 5 years ago. There could be a number of explanations why this video became so popular. It could be an ecological aspect, I mean the upcycling of plastic bottles, or perhaps because I showed the polymer tape's thermoshrinking property and how it could be used in bushcraft and construction. For example, I made this garden chair by jointing willow tree branches with such polymer tape. The frame turned out to be super stiff. Here I was joining the key points of my catamaran's frame with polymer PET tape that was then shrunk with hot water, boiled in a camping kettle. This cat's frame survived two years of heavy use and I still fully trust its integrity. I even used my catamaran made of sticks and four inflatable duffel bags slash floats as a sailing vessel without worrying about the frame's joints coming loose in the rough freezing waters which are typical here at Ladoga Lake. My homemade pack frame is another good project example. I made it from green branches years ago. The pack frame's members dried and shrunk the following camping season resulting in loosening frame's joints. All I had to do to fix the problem was to reheat the frame's joints which shrank the polymer tape more, thus retightening all of the joints. Note, the PET tape cut from a bottle doesn't lose its holding properties neither in the scorching summer heat nor in the Russian winter frost, when even industrial machines fail. I fell more than once while the pack frame was overloaded. I dropped heavy objects on it multiple times, but the frame's joints reinforced with PET tape never failed. In the original video about this bottle cutter, I forgot to mention that unlike the bottle cutter Mark I, it doesn't need to be immobilized in a vise or affixed to some sort of a foundation. The Mark II is a portable bottle cutter that can be held any way you want with your right or left hand. What I mean is, the way you hold the bottle cutter doesn't affect the quality of the cut of the polymer tape. The tape will be of an even width along the roll's entire length from any given bottle. I think you will agree with my sad observation that it is hard to find a place on our planet where you wouldn't come across a plastic bottle. This is why not only you can make yourself a free survival rope on the go, but also diminish the nature's plastic pollution. The later is particularly enjoyable for me. When you need to make a lot of PET tape, it makes sense to fix the portable bottle cutter to a tree or something else. This way you can pull out the polymer tape with both hands and speed up the process. Again. Using my bottle cutter, you gain access to a little unlimited supply of thermoshrinking polymer tape. Using this rope, you can securely join just about anything. To make the joint tighter, all you have to do is to heat up the connection with a heat gun or even hot water. An additional bonus is you will help nature to get rid of plastic bottles by recycling them. It is an easy task to bend a willow tree branch into a circle that will be later used in a garden furniture's construction. By drilling only one large hole, you can make two cylindrical grooves at once. The garden chair can now be assembled using the polymer tape again to secure all of its joints. I haven't decided on the seat's design yet. Perhaps you can recommend me some interesting seat idea or an unusual seat pattern I could make using the PET tape. I think you will agree after this demo that the chair's joints reinforced with PET tape are extremely reliable. I don't know if there is another joinery method that would keep this chair's frame unbroken during such a test. There might be only one exception to what I've just said. The wire clamps that you could apply to the chair's joints with my clamper tool you might have seen in the previous video. 
I will leave a link to my homemade clamper video below. Here's another application of the PET tape. I connected the foundation metal rods using the tape. The solution was free, fast and reliable. As you can see, the new bottle cutter has a lot of pluses. Anybody who owns basic tools can easily make one. Also, it is smaller, lighter and more user-friendly. You don't have to prime a bottle or hold it down to cut the tape. What is needed is literally a bottle and one hand. Additionally, my new bottle cutter can cut polymer tape of different widths using the same blade. I cut PET tape anywhere from 1 to 10 millimeters, 1 16th to 1 half of an inch. All you have to do is to start cutting your bottle in a different slot. No blade adjustments are necessary. This sawhorse can easily hold my weight. I don't think any screws or even bolts can hold this structure together more reliably than PET tape. The clutching force of a heated PET wrap is comparable to a clutching force of a tightly bolted joint. The tape's loops will not slide or get loose even if you apply a lot of force to such a joint. Lately, I've been using PET tape as a temporary clamp frequently. For example, it is not easy to drill a large hole at a sharp angle like this. I have tried and failed using regular clamps. However, using a temporary PET tape wrap easily solved the problem. You may have seen my old trout fishing video. I used the narrow line of bottle harvested tape for the purpose. Of course, this is not the best fishing line out there, but rather a fishing line you could make from a plastic bottle in a survival situation. Once you have a line, it is easy to make a fishing hook from an earring, a safety pin, a disposable lighter or even a tin can. Just about any small piece of metal can be turned into a fishing hook. I can testify that the campfire cooked trout tastes delicious regardless of whether you used expensive gear or a plastic bottle to catch it. I keep finding new applications for the polymer tape harvested from plastic bottles every year. You can use PET tape as an axe or hammer's handle guard or even pliers grips. PET polymer is impact and shatter resistant. To make this portable bottle cutter, we will only need a few items and tools. Now we need to mark a hole using a disposable blade's pinhole. This is where the blade will be bolted inside the jig. We will drill only one hole. Then you need to make a few cuts. The first cut should be at least a nut's width away from the hole so that the nut wouldn't cover it once installed. The depth of the slot will determine the width of the tape that you cut with the jig. Ok, we have all of the needed parts and can now assemble our bottle cutter. The disposable blade needs to be bolted inside the aluminum profile. Note, the second nut on the pin is used as a spreader inside the aluminum profile to keep the bottle holding pin bent backwards, which is important for the jig to properly function. Lastly, we need to install this wooden infill to hold the unbolted side of the blade immobilized. Then our jig is ready to cut plastic bottles. Now you have an easy access to an unlimited polymer rope supply. You can find a link to my portable bottle cutters plan in this video's description. Soon you will have a lot of plastic bottle necks and bottle bottoms, but you could even use those leftovers to mold them into different shapes. I will share my PET polymer molding experience with you in the upcoming videos. Additionally, I wanted to mention an interesting application of PET tape cut from bottles in 3D printing. You can make a free 3D printing filament by pulling a strand of PET tape that you cut from a bottle through an additional simple device that has a small heated opening. I should say that even though the PET filament has a very narrow melting temperature range, the printed models made from it are much more impact and shatter resistant than those printed from ABS and PVA filaments. PET tape rules even here. I even used it on exotic projects like my fur branch frame kayak 
scrapped in tarp or to reinforce this mallet's head that was used on my log cabin's construction. Note, you can shrink the PET wrap even in this open fire while making primitive bushcraft furniture. I mentioned many examples where you could use the polymer tape, but it is particularly helpful in the outdoors when you have a limited supply of regular rope. For instance, I've been using this bushcraft table slash bench slash bed with tarp canopy for years and each time when I install it I use my PET tape. If you connect three long sticks with this type of a nut it will hold heavy loads. The canopy spreaders cut from a bottle can withstand strong winds without snapping, keeping your shelter intact. If you liked this video, perhaps you could share it with your friends. Let good people watch good videos. This is Maxi Gorov, St. Petersburg, Russia. And a final note. I only produce one or two videos max a month. And if you don't want to miss new content like this, you can click on the bell reminder for notifications. I hope to see you back on Advoco Makes.